Okay, yeah, so, uh, so welcome today. I'm Reinhard Koffermans. I'm uh, from Survive, and well, what we do at Survive is more like uh, we treat, we help people and personalities in recruitment processes. Today we'll talk about creativity and inventivity. I want to po uh, first pose creativity by opposing it to inventivity. What is inventivity? It's solving a problem with the same resources. Creativity is solving problems with new resources. You may say inventivity is thinking outside the box. Creativity is thinking in new boxes, so to say. So I want to first have, uh, start off with the psychology of uh, Carl Jung. He described four key quad quadrants in Carlos, as you can see, from thinking to feeling and introvert uh, personalities to extrovert personalities. Okay. So first we'll talk about the blue personalities. They're in uh, the left-hand corner, so they're more the introverted and thinking types. On a good day, they're accurate, they're analytic, objective, and also detailed. But on a bad day, they can be, be very distant, cold and suspicious, and, well, obviously undecisive. I'm that kind of guy. Um, the red quadrant is the, uh, the extrovert thinkers. They're goal-oriented, strenuous, and also very decisive. But on a bad day, they can be very, very dominant, intolerant, uh, and also a bit aggressive in uh, trying to control you all the time. So what we'll be talking today is the yellow uh, quadrant as well. Uh, they're the creative types. So they're dynamic, they're enthusiastic, creative, and also convincing. But in a bad day, they're chaotic, indiscreet, and a blabbermouth. So who here in the audience is a blabbermouth? Can you just raise your hand, please? All right, we got one, two, three. Okay, great, thanks. I'll come, come back to it later. The, blue, uh, the green personality is careful, relaxed, and more on the downside, so more oriented towards feeling. Uh, but on a bad day, they can also be slow, dependent, very stubborn personalities. And also, uh, well, they don't show any personality, basically, if they have a bad day. Your personality is a mix of those four colors that I just told you. You may be a mix between red, blue, yellow and green, but you may also only stick to red. I'm a typical blue kind of personality. Um, and in your comfort zone, you adhere to the, to, the, uh, to the color that you prefer, that you're most easy with. So interesting thing is the allergies. So I'm the, I'm the analytic type of guy. And those people who just raised their hand, I probably won't get along with them if I work on a professional basis, because they're on the other side of the continuum. So they're more the, the expressive types, and I generally don't get along with them, to be honest. On the other side, it's uh, very interesting to see that on an emotional level, actually, you're attracted to them. My girlfriend, for example, she's expressive. She asked me, like, hey, man, I want answers now. And I'm saying, okay, I've got to think about that. I'm an analytical type of guy. Um, so in that sense, how do you recognize those people? Thinkers? They're more reserved, stiff, and whereas feelers on the other continuum are more the relaxed and they, they show a lot of facial expressions. All right, so introvert people, they're more, uh, uh, they show less gestures. Extrovert people, they're direct uh, and also uh, more gestures. I want to give you a brain candy to hop on to the next topic. You now know how, uh, you, you now have to decide what image you want for your brand. Image means personality. Products like people have personalities and they can make or break the marketplace. So what I'm actually saying here is that, uh, well, this was a quote from a famous marketeer. Can you imagine these people in one team together? You have Obama, who's the ty typical analytical kind of guy. You have Queen Elizabeth II of England. You have Amy Winehouse, who's a typical uh, expressive. And that all together mixed with, uh, amongst others, Sarah Palin and Hillary Clinton. What is, gonna, what is it going to lead to? Conflict in the team. What does conflict lead to? Conflict in the team is a problem. And as soon as your mind recognizes a problem, it automatically will try to solve that problem. That's how you get to going to bed late at night and suddenly it all becomes clear to you. That's creativity. For the entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs, you can define the brand personality in that sense. So a typical analytical brand, like a uh, brand that would pr fit my personality is Philips. They make fantastic, technical, very good products. But what they're lacking is extrovertness, marketing. That's, uh, uh, for example, on the other side is Maastricht, our beloved Maastricht Uni University. It's more like the theoretical type of personality 
Uh, and you, have, you as an entrepreneur have to find out what kind of brand you want to be. Do you want to be the Philips? Do you want to be CNN? Or do you want to be the Shady Records from Eminem? So what enhances creativity? Listen. Listen to other people. Listen to other people who have other perspectives than you. Uh, please be an open door. Share all your thoughts that you have. And as soon as you get reactions from people back, that, that's going to create creativity between you and the other person. Also, explain other cultures. It's very interesting to get to know um, what their triggers are. And that's my next slide, obviously. Uh, so try to, uh, to discover what triggers your creative flow. Uh, you can get a habit of it and say, OK, uh, as soon as I'm in creative flow, I, I just touch my forehead. And if you get a habit out of it, touch your forehead, and you become creative. This last quote by a plastic surgeon, he said, self-image is the key to, ch to changing personality and human behavior. If you change self-image, you will change human behavior and thus the personality. So what he actually was saying was that it's not about how creative you are, it's about how creative you think you are. Thank you. <laughs>